your artistic director, and today I am joined by James Murray of Red Dirt Improv. Yeah. He's cool dude, uh, and we are co-producing IFO Improv Festival Oklahoma coming up at the end of September. So make sure to mark your calendars. We're going to be bringing in acts from all over the country, and that's what we're working on together. But for right now, we're working on this. Yes, and uh, think of. Uh, Think of things you might keep secret from someone else. It may not even be you. It could just be a hypothetical person in your mind. I want an example of, from the audience of a secret one person might keep from another person who they've known a long time. Their sexuality. Yeah, specifically. Just any of it. Oh, just any sexuality? Just anything to do with sexuality. OK. Uh, sexuality? Uh, sure. And uh, how about, um, how about a, a location? A location. Non-geographic location, preferably, so you know, you can't just play all in Canada. Think of this stage that we have here, and think of a space that might fit in that area or, or work with this area. A phone booth. Phone booth. A phone booth. Okay. Phone booth. A phone booth. A phone booth. 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 Phone Hey, Jeannie? Uh-huh. Are you getting anybody? No. No. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, like, it's it's 2016. Do these things even work anymore? <laughs> I mean, you know? You put money in there. I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I put in a Canadian quarter. I mean, so... I mean, I, 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 mean, I thought Canada had cell phones. Mike, I, I thought... Okay. Well, we can either... Uh, we can either walk back to the car, see if we can get it started again, or we can just make some more calls. Uh, some more, like beyond the no, no calls that I've made, we're gonna make some more no calls. Let's <laughs> trade. Let's trade. Okay, fine. Let's you trade. you give it. Here's another quarter. I mean, this is American. Maybe that'll work better. I don't know. It's, as long as it has weight, I think it works. Okay. <laughs> I've dialed him. Oh, okay. 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 Oh. It's cold. Close the door. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, um, do you know anybody's number? <laughs> no, they're all on my cell phone and the cell phone died. Well, I, <laughs> the phone number I know is my, my childhood home and... No one's there anymore. anymore. Well, someone's there, I just don't know them. <laughs> I mean, it's a new family, they seem fine, but I just don't know them enough to... I mean, I can try. But what? they, they're in Oklahoma, in, and they can't help us. In Toronto. And the odds of us, them knowing our friends is low. <laughs> oh, but do they have like 911 up here? Well, yeah, it's probably a different number, but, oh. Yeah, there's a, there's an emergency number here, I can. I mean, try, I mean. Uh, hello? Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, my wife and I are actually stranded. Can you help us, uh, please? It, it, the, the sign says Route 8, and this is, uh, <laughs> there are not really any buildings around. There's the, it's the phone booth on Route 8. And Slaughterville. And uh, I saw a sign that said Slaughterville. Yes, I know, I know. It's it's a it is a nice phone booth. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> oh no, it's warm enough. Yes, we're I mean, it's, it's warm in here. Yes, absolutely. It's lovely. It's, it's lovely. It's really really lovely. I'm putting you up with with Jeannie. Um, um yeah, um yeah, I know, I know. Um uh, yes, it was it was Route A in Slaughterville. There's no real headlights or anything. So and our car died. Our rental. Well, we rented it from Hertz. Does that matter? I well. Yeah, I mean, I, we had a cell phone, but the cell phone died, and so now we're, well, of course, I charged it, I just, I played a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> I have new ones up here, you know that? Ma'am? Ma Can yeah. I talk with them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, totally unrelated, are there any Charizard here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so you'll send, you, okay, you'll send a truck here, and how long will that take? That's a that's a that's a conservative estimate. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, well, we'll be here at the phone booth near the Slaughterville sign. Route 9, no Pokemon, no phones. It's very cold in your country. Did you know that? Hello. Okay, thank you. Ciao. They said ciao. I don't, I don't know if they outsource their emergency services, but now it's actually probably a little too warm in here, actually. Um, you can see your breath in July in Toronto. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> all right, Jeannie, I apologize. This is uh, certainly not the uh, honeymoon extravaganza you were promised. No, no, I was, I mean, when you said we're going to secretly plan our honeymoon, you uh -huh. said we're going to tell me anything about it, and then I, I actually needed my passport for it. Yeah. I was actually thinking something like France or, you know. I know, I know, I just keep finding reasons that we can't go. <laughs> And we ran out of gas, and when your phone was dead, even though you thought you charged it, it is dead, and uh, it really seems like we're never going to get to the hotel at all. No, we're not. No, but I mean, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I wanted to wear my dress until we got to the hotel. Um, yeah. Here it is, in all its sleeveless, bodice sequin glory. Uh, uh, <laughs> sequins are great. Yeah. They, well, they're providing a little bit of light reflection off the moon, so that works. Do you think... I mean, you think all of these problems after the wedding are... I mean, do they tell you anything? Like they, they're like indicative? Are, I mean, it just seems... Like ever since we got married, it just nothing's working out for us. No, we only got married 30 hours ago. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, but it feels like a week. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's cold, is yeah. what I mean. Yeah. You, and I love you. I love you, too. And you love me. I do love you. I wouldn't be still wearing this sleeveless bodice sequence white gown if I didn't. And obviously... <laughs> but I like the way it swishes. <laughs> Very nice. And obviously we wouldn't be getting married if it wasn't the right thing to do. Right. Right. I mean, well, we, we dated. We dated for like nine months. I mean, that was, that was good, you know? Nine months? I mean... <laughs> that's... that's People don't, people don't spend a lifetime getting to know each other, and we spent nine months. Nine months? I mean, we both like Bones. It's true. <laughs> great show. It's a great show. Those actors have chemistry. Uh-huh. And we have that in common, and yeah. if that's not the basis for a long-term relationship, I don't know what is. <laughs> hey, you, you like Indian food? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You like Indian food, I like Indian food. Yeah. Two for two. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you went to high school? I went to high school. <laughs> in, in your mom's basement. Oh, homeschooled. Yeah. It's, it's good. You went there, though. You went there every day. <laughs> Perfect attendance. Perfect attendance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I think you're very intelligent for a homeschool. You know? Oh, 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 oh cool. Homeschool. Yeah, I buddy. It's different here. I mean, there's, <laughs> the schools are so far apart, the metropolitan areas. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's not indicative of like, like, like turmoil that's coming. I mean, it's only been thirty hours. Only been thirty will be. Ooh. I um. I can't help but think maybe. Maybe we have a do-over wedding. A do-over wedding. All this bad stuff has happened. Maybe we wait another six months and do it upright. You know, your Aunt Carol wasn't even there. Well, no, but that's because she's in hospice, Mike. I mean, she's definitely not going to be here in six months. Well, I just... Okay, well, not, not everyone on our list came, though, is to the point. I mean, a lot of my... Uh, my brother didn't come. Well... And well, uh, I asked him a lot I mean, they didn't to come. come from Afghanistan. I mean, he's on tour. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, wait for the tour to be over. Then we get married, we do a do-over wedding. Let's put all of this off six months, and uh, we'll, we'll do it again. How about that? We get, the, the crew gets here, they help us repair our car, we go back home. This is, there's too many bad things happening here. This is, uh, it's cold, I'm getting back in the booth. <laughs> Yeah, those bills did keep rising, didn't they? Yeah, I mean... I just kept thinking, the more expensive it is, the more real it becomes, you know? Yeah. I mean, who would spend $25,000 on a wedding they were not fully committed to, you know? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, who would? No one would. That's why we that's know it's right. right. That's right. That's why we spend the $25,000. Because we didn't think we were committed to each other, we could just 
gone off to Vegas and had one of those drive-through weddings, you know. Oh, that's just, just too tacky. No, absolutely. That's what I told you. No, we're not doing that because it's too tacky. Yeah. You know, this is a real thing, so we should be spending the twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, you know. So hot out here now. <laughs> Still winter though. <laughs> well, winter in July for Canada. <laughs> When did she say that Trump was coming? 45 minutes. Oh my god. An hour. Oh my god. Maybe we should start scourging for food, you know? Like, it's Toronto. We might have a mushroom plant around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, if there were any plants around, we'd probably see a building. I'm just that trying to catch some It would be in the like... Slaughterville area of Toronto. No, I, I guess not. I guess it's too metropolitan. For like you know blackberry um, bushes and and uh, I mean this would be a lovely place though if there were you know uh, lights and um, humanity. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there are trees. Trees in Canada have leaves. I'm sure. Yeah, that's that's not what it's getting at, but you can get maple syrup out of them somehow. <laughs> Okay, um, that sounds like a well thought out idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mike. All right, Jimmy, I, I uh... <laughs> You're really worrying me. I've never seen this Harperlish cast about your face before. All right, Jeannie, I don't want to hurt you. I really don't want to hurt you. I, so I won't. <laughs> 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 I feel like this phone booth is our safe space. When you're on one side of the phone booth and I'm on the other side of the phone booth door, we can say anything. Yeah, we can say anything. Ah. Uh, we can say anything other than the thing that will hurt me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the way I can dress that swishes back and forth. Uh, I, I can't help Jeannie, but think you know, you know what this is going to be.
Yeah. Isn't that what marriage is at the end of the day? Just being a team? I mean, I mean, like my mom and dad were married for 40 years, and at the end of the day, they weren't making out on the couch. They were, my dad brought my mom a cup of coffee when she woke up, and my mom, she would, she would straighten his tie every day before he went to work. And, and they, they made dinner together, and he grew up with meat, and she made the side dishes, and they fed us, and they were a team. And they were not in love at all. Oh. <laughs> I want that, Mike. <laughs> and I love to cook with you. I know. We are a great team. Have we ever missed a bill? No, no. We are prompt and effective and have great FICA scores. <laughs> <laughs> and our, our house is in the parade of homes. I know. And we had a down payment in cash. <laughs> Absolutely. This is perfect. This is great. Our whole value is going right up. I <laughs> know. We, we got great careers. We got great careers. Right? You're an ornithologist. Yes. I'm an ornithologist. It's very obscure. Not many people know about it. No, no. But you do a good job. I'm the best. You are. You know, you're on, you know, you're on all the brochures. <laughs> You've opened up nine restaurants this year. Nine! Nine! I mean, who, who knew? You and your business partner. <laughs> I know. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> You're so successful. We are and I'm successful. We're, We're successful, successful together. together. So what, what is, is, this is great and I want to continue. Yeah. This is our reality. You know? And, and occasionally, when we have kids, if we have to prove to them that we love each other, we, I'll smooch you. <laughs> but it's, um, sounds great. <laughs> Think of adoption. <laughs> I'm fully on board. I, you know, I mean, with the restaurants and stuff, I, I don't really need to give birth. Oh. It's, it's not a thing. The stomach would just get in the way. Of so many steps, so many you know? things. Um. <laughs> so many maesters. We just 
we just need to acknowledge something and things will be better. Am I your best friend? Of course you're my best friend. I said it five times in my speech. Yeah. It was a very short speech and it was, <laughs> it was let me repeat it. Just the <laughs> Together. We eat Indian food, we have the best house in the neighborhood. Why does that need to be labeled in any such way? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be. I mean, we're very progressive. We have the best lawn and our interior design on point. You did a fabulous job with the inside, by the way. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. So, so we should just say it. We should just say it, okay? Okay. This isn't this this isn't our honeymoon. Okay, this isn't our honeymoon. This is just, this is just the best friend's road trip. And we'll take care of everything else when we get back. And, uh, and this doesn't have to stop. We just communicate more and not be in our special world. We'll be in the real world, and that's just as good. No. No. No, the real world is never as good as the special world. The special world is full of magic. The special world is, is full of, of stars and, and moons and people standing up and, and saying that they'll be behind you. That's the special world. The special world is what we create. The real world is you chasing Kevin down the aisle or me, you know, breaking up with Carol because she's really controlling. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't. I don't want the real world. I want the special world. Here's the problem. Well, my brother told me why he didn't come to the wedding. He's fine with me and how I am. He just wants me to open up to him. We're lying. We're liars. We're liars to everyone around us. They support us. They are our friends. But don't they say things to you that still make you want to open up? I'm not lying to anyone, Mike. I love you. I love you? I just don't want to fuck you. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. That's, yes, thank you. That is, 100 miles in, that was the... <laughs> Oh, <laughs>